But after the show, it's all this like, ah, oh, see, you're you're a loser. But, <laughs> I, but I don't think you're ever going to escape that. What's up, guys, and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. After Sergio Oliva Jr. appeared on Fawaz's podcast and stated that he doesn't want any hype around him and he just wants to do a show and have fun with it. And that is why he didn't want to disclose what show he is planning to do next. Now that coupled with his recent caption on his latest post and the fact that he is down more than 10 pounds in the last few weeks, that is an indication that Sergio is trying to get to the US and maybe compete in Cali Pro. I'm just speculating on that. It could be another show. Lose any hype around me. I want to go into a show again where I'm going into it because I want to. No one knows. There's no like, like, like it's it's so crazy. I've never gotten into a show and I'm like, I'm gonna win. Like I'm posting about it. He also left a cheeky reply to Michael Dabo's comment. So we will see what that means in a few days. So I saw some comments pointing out that his upper body looks way bigger than his legs. And I think the issue is the same here as we see with Nick Walker. The legs are huge, but they lack that outer sweep, especially from the front. Now, I am excited to see what Sergio can do on that big stage this year. And I am hopeful that he will finally peak this time. And if he is planning to do California Pro, I'm going to say he is the favorite to win that show. I just want to stand next to people and even get my ass beat. But after the show, it's all this like, ah, oh, see, you're, you're a loser. But, <laughs> I, I, but I don't think you're ever going to escape that. Yeah, but I could still go into a show and nobody knows. Brion Asley did leave a great legacy in classic physique. Chris Bumstead on camera said that in the beginning of their rivalry, all he wanted to do was beat Brion. And that made him work harder than ever. But the thing is, Brion was always at a huge disadvantage because of that weight cap hanging over his head. He didn't have any room to grow, and that was the case for seven straight years. But now that he has switched to a bigger division, his weight cap now is 212 pounds. So his body is really flourishing, especially his upper half. But there is no denying this fact that Brion should have made this decision of switching to a bigger division earlier in his career. I think 2020 was the right time. And I am saying that because he will be turning 44 this year. And only a few people can continue to grow, especially their lower half their legs, at such a late stage of their careers. Now Chris Cormier did claim that overall fuller look will definitely give his legs a better look on stage. So cannot wait to see him on a 212 stage this year. It is so great to see Andrew Jack, one of the most prominent names in the bodybuilding today, training with other pros and putting out great content for the fans. So yesterday he trained legs with Sibishi Sokotalo, a young up-and-coming IFB pro who will definitely make some noise as soon as he hears his speak. Now from the looks of his recent update, he seems to be putting on some mass in this offseason. So let's see what show is going to do next. And I am really looking forward to his package that he will present on the stage this time. Now today, Andrew Jack trained with Vilad. And just look at the sheer size of this guy. That just goes to show us what a beast he truly is. All of us are hyped to see the battle of Texas Pro between Andrew and Hunter Lebrana. And Andrew is still in the phase of growing as his trainer Psycho Fitness aka Chris Lewis said that Andrew Jagd has the ability to grow into the show. We saw how great he looked at 301 pounds roughly a week back and him at his best will almost be impossible to beat not only at Texas Pro by Hunter Lebrana but even at the Olympia stage in November. So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and smash the subscribe button if you want to come back for more. Thanks for watching.